Okay, it's Saturday the 8th of June 2019 and about quarter to ten. Uh, don't think I'm going to get anything done on the shed today or anything else uh, outside and that sort of thing. The weather prediction is uh, for rain, quite heavy rain, possibly thunderstorms, and it's quite windy and quite cold at the moment. You've got to leave where the trees move in, maybe you have to get the wind. Uh, apart from that, I've also got a lot of other things that I have to do. My wife needs her uh, essay checked, and I definitely need to do that. She has to hand it in. But it has to be in tonight. <laughs> as late as possible. Anyway, so therefore I don't think any work is going to be done at least today. I hope maybe tomorrow. In which case I'm going to need to repaint some of the, the some bits of the eaves which are sort of uh, painted on the over the white, and it sort of didn't really cover it very well. And I'll repaint some of those bits again, and obviously finish the batten in on the uh, uh, well on this side at least, and paint that over. Okay, on wood. Well, nothing really to do with the shed, but here's the cat. <laughs> name of Francesco, or correct name, well, he calls him Francesca, which is the female version, but he's actually male. I just generally refer to him as Le Chat. <laughs> anyway, on wood. Okay, it's Sunday the 9th of June 2019, and it's about ten past ten. Aim today? Well, I didn't do much yesterday. Uh, you saw, saw filming the cat, and that's about it. <laughs> uh, anyway, aim today. Finish off putting all these battens on, to, uh, paint them over, repaint over those ones over there. Uh, get the bits around the hinges sorted. Uh, right out here. Uh, and covered over so there's something on that line and uh, and try and some of these bits of haven't quite gone as well painted over as well I suppose we painted a very shiny uh, paint on a very shiny paint it uh, doesn't stick too well or well, it does but uh, it doesn't smoothly flow oh, it's easy. Uh, quite sticky or quite stayed. Anyway, paint that over a few bits of that again. Some places where it's a bit sort of quite showing through. That's really all I want to do. I would. Okay, that's all the patterns now fitted on that side. Uh, they still need to be painted. Also fitted one underneath at the bottom, uh, which have filled the screw holes. That needs to be sanded down, and means I can't paint that one today. But uh, I need to paint this side. Oh, I've sanded down the, the bits I uh, had to fill last time. Okay, onward. Okay, it's about quarter to four. I painted all of that. Also managed to start on the back of it here. I've only got well, one small piece left. Uh, which I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but uh, put the verticals in. I've put the bottom, well, half of the bottom piece. It only comes up to here at the moment. I've got another piece that goes on there, but it's going to take a bit more effort than I've got time to put in. I'm more likely not going to paint this today. Well, actually, mm, actually, I might just see if I can get a little bit in. Uh, I'm going to put my wife shock up shortly. And, uh, oh, there we go. Onward. Okay, I've given that a quick coat of paint, and I think that's about all I'm going to have time for today. My wife to phone me and ask me to pick up the station before now, but I'm sure that's about to happen at any time. And that one down there as well. So, anyway, I think that's going to be it for the weekend, and not a vast amount done. See you next weekend. Onward. Bye. Okay, it's Saturday the 29th of June 2019, and it's about quarter past nine in the morning. Right, I've been having a lot of problems with uh, laptop, uh, even connections and things, uh, but it doesn't and it goes through this sort of connected thing here over the mains, and it's absolutely awful. Uh, the Wi-Fi, Alexa is on the Wi-Fi, uh, 
and that's also pretty bad so I really lack network connection out here so to solve this I'm going to lay a cable go back to the old technology so this is uh, Ethernet cable Cat5e uh, with a uh, you, you, uh, unshielded twisted pair uh, but it's designed for being used underground and you can bury it but as I was in the office, uh, they had a skip there, and I ha happened to notice in the skip, or well, always have a check skip in the useful, the whole reel of this stuff, 50 metres of unused, 50 metres of conduit. So I'm going to put the cable through the conduit, and uh, hopefully get a bit more protection. I might be able to even get two runs of it, and see what we can do. But it's, um, oh, I've got some clips and things, so I need to clip it to the uh, side of the house over there. Anyway, all the other various bits and pieces. So today my aim is to get this laid and a network connection in here that's got some sort of speed behind it. And uh, I think the problem with the, the two hubs is uh, it's going via rather convoluted routes to get here. And then the... No, in fact... Oh yeah, sorry. There is a... It doesn't even show the status. Not even doing the normal sort of things. Anyway, onward. Oh, actually, there's a couple of other things I need to mention. Didn't film anything last week because I was at my niece's wedding, and the week before it was both raining, and the bit I did do was just painting and things like that line. So basically, painting the boards. I mean, not not exactly inspiring, so I didn't bother filming any. And you, I'm sure you've seen. Me paint before, so I am bothered. Anyway, onward. Okay, it's 1.20, it's taking a long time, but I managed to get the uh, uh, cable going down the outside of the house, up there, and connects to the uh, where the um, switch is. <sighs> now I'm about putting the cable inside this trunk in. That's the thing, got to go to the other side of this wall and all the way along and into the shed. Ah, oh, it's really hot. <laughs> anyway, onward. Okay, I finally managed to get the uh, cable all the way through. That's the conduit and that's the cable coming out of it. And I've got a socket on the wall over there. So it's a matter of uh, putting the... Um, well, uh, well, I suppose there's a backing rod on top of it. That's the socket. And we need to connect it up to the cable. Okay, I haven't done the other end yet either. We don't need to. We'll do this one first. And hopefully we have network connection. Oh. Okay, that's the socket on the wall now. And I've got the cable in. It runs currently, now again, temporarily. Everything's temporary. Until I get the walls and the insulation and Lord knows what. And we get here, and we have lights and they're flashing. It's obviously a good sign. So now I'm going to connect to my old laptop and we're going to see how well we can do. Do we get a, what sort of speed we get? Onward. Okay, I've been having a play on YouTube and the videos well, actually work, which they didn't before. Uh, so I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, also, I'm tidy up because it's quite. Well, so it's 4.34 at the moment, and uh, we'll clear up, and I'm not going to do much more today. And we'll continue tomorrow with the um, putting the cladding on. So I've got it the right shape and put it on. And, oh, and found my little mini fridge. That there, the problem is I haven't got a power cable for it, so I've got to get one. Uh, it's got the power cable that... Uh, uh, for plugging into the car, but not the one for uh, plugging into the normal mains. So, um, put a couple of cans in there. Something nice to keep me cool. <sighs> anyway, I suppose this is going to be the last video for today. And I will um, see you tomorrow. Bye! Okay, it's now Sunday the 30th of June and it's quarter to 12, obviously not, a, not an early start. Aim today is to take these bits of wood, cladding, 
and put it around. In fact, the first piece is going to go effectively here, so that uh, this is going to be the most difficult piece. And uh, down to there, I've got to somehow put a bit of wood along the bottom, which is going to be, needs to be level, so I can rest all the pieces of wood on it and get them to cut to the same length. Well, that's the idea. And I'll slowly work outwards. I want to do this side first because it's uh, by far the most complex side. All right, onward. Okay, that's the uh, first piece attached. Sawn it in at the uh, bits here so it goes sort of slightly in. And I'm going to put a piece on this side of it. The next piece is going to be here up to the uh, So, homeward. Okay, that's the third board in place. Uh, also filled out, uh, fill around the gap between the uh, hinge and the uh, uh, wood. Oh, of course, obviously, hopefully, you might get this thing finished today. The rest should be relatively straightforward. And uh, we could then. Uh, uh, and then paint it. So we'll do obviously a bit on the other side and everything else. Anyway, onward. Okay, it's nearly four o'clock, about eight minutes two. So we have one section complete. Up at the, uh, not even a whole wall. I've got to do that side and a bit above the door. Uh, I've actually run out of wood at the moment, but then you know. Maybe a small amount to see how well it works, and it seems to be okay. Ah, so, at the moment I've filled it, all the little gaps and things at the top have been filled out. I'm just waiting for it to dry, and then I need to, well, I can actually really start sanding some of the bits over here. And that's not too bad looking. Here you go, see where the hinges are? They're just the hinges sticking out of the wood. We don't actually see much of the black. I think that's quite good. Obviously, um, so we well, hopefully paint it white again today, and then we can um, uh, worry about the final colour another day. Anyway, onward. Okay, there we are. All sanded it down and painted. Obviously, it's still got to have a top coat of grey on, but that's uh, what the outside's going to look like, obviously. I'll do the rest of it, at least going further forward. Right, next stage, ah, uh, well, the next thing today is actually pack up. And, uh, so I'm not going to get much more done. Anyway, so this is the last recording for today. See you next time. Bye.